medical student rejected because she's Indian. Welcome, namaskaram, namaste, salam, and salutations. Now, an Indian student was initially accepted to study medicine, had her application rejected when it was discovered that she was Indian. That is correct, folks. She had all the necessary symbols, points, etc. She met all the criteria to study and contribute meaningfully to our health sector. But when it was discovered that she was Indian, she was rejected. Uh, she was rejected purely on race. In 2020, when my part by the Posey movement was highlighting the fact that Indians were being systematically sidelined, marginalized and discriminated against, the likes of Logi Naidu, Praveen Godan, Ella Gandhi, Judge Tamba Pale, Ravi Pale, etc., etc., branded me on the front page of the post as racist and dangerous. They said, we are not Indian, we mustn't talk Indian, we are South African, Rainbow Nation, Kumbaya. Kumbaya Maas. And I'm going to say it just like that. Whether I'm in parliament or not, I don't care. I'm going to say it just like that. Because it needs to be said. Where were these people when this student was being discriminated against purely on race? And this in the new democratic South Africa. And here's the killer. This incident happened in 2014. And guess what? To this day, this race, racist quota policy still exists. Discriminating against Indian students. But thankfully, the likes of Logi Naidu, Ravi Pillai, etc., etc., are walking into the sunset, paving the way for the new tiger to emerge. Listen, I'm no ass creeper, I'm no bootlicker. My community is my passion, my country is my passion. Listen to what I, what I had to say on Southside FM uh, political panel last night. Uh, Mr. Mudli, as an independent candidate, what is your vision for South Africa in the next 10 years? You know, firstly, I want to say that what warms my heart is for the first time in 30 years, Indian people have been spoken about and our lives suddenly matter because for 30 years nobody ever spoke that language. So staying true to my mandate, I will stay focused on ensuring that the systematic marginalization, discrimination and sidelining of the Indian community stops. Let's just consider the fact that Indian students battle to get into medical school. They have to get the highest points to get into medical school and even then a quota system applies. This denies our country of the best people for the job, which is why our health system finds itself in billions of rands of litigation and lawsuits. Allow our students to come to the front, allow us to produce the best that we can in this country, and that's how we're going to take this forward. No? Indian lives matter. Our children are at the back of the employment queue. Indian lives matter. We have a lot to contribute to this country. We've already contributed a lot to the country. Stop throwing us aside. We can help rebuild this country. We have the resources, we have the manpower, we have the brain power. Do we have issues that affect us uh, as the Indian community? Are we as a minority being sidelined, marginalized and discriminated against? Are our children being denied jobs? Do we need an Indian voice in parliament? Do we need an Indian voice at all? If you think we do, Vote for whoever you want on the national and regional ballots. Three ballots. Vote for whoever you want on national and regional. But Dalla Cross on the pink provincial ballot. Vote for Mudli, Tanasegar and Ruben Adam. Lucky number 13 on the ballot sheet. This is what the ballot sheet looks like. I'm just after the Justice and Employment Party. Jep. Give me a seat. I'll change the face of Indian politics. Guaranteed. Tell her what, what you must. Tell her what you crave. But don't tell her flop. Don't tell her with the masala. <laughs>